We're gonna go get this brush unloaded. Just got a small pickup truck of stuff. Uh, kids got me a little cold going on, so I'm a little raspy in my voice, but, you know, just still gotta make that money. Still gotta do that thing, so get this unloaded. Just this small little thing, the doghouse and stuff we're taking care of in Berlin so we can make some spores, but let's get rid of this. Another brush run, small, but getting stuff done. It's crazy how it kind of comes in spurts. We've got like three brush runs, but tomorrow we got another dump run and stuff, but yeah, we'll get this unloaded and uh, get ready for tomorrow's. Just uh, did another job. Oh, don't mind the cold, the kids got me a little sick. Uh, so I got some congestion, which I hate, but uh, nothing too bad going on like day three of getting rid of that. But anyways, did this job, went up to Middleton, Wisconsin, a uh, little farther outside our realm, but most of the stuff wasn't really necessarily junk. So it was like a bug bed and some outside chairs and stuff that were broken and stuff. Like the bug bed isn't broken, it's just older. Stuff. So a lot of it might be stuff that could get used to like, I don't know, get back to someone or just, you know, throw away. Like the chairs and stuff may end up being scrap because they're metal. I don't know if you can really see. It's really not a full trailer full. Honestly, if I would have gotten pictures rather than a list, I probably could have just brought the truck and just packed it in there and then strapped it down. But they had said there's a big desk topper, which didn't end up being very big. So, that, you know, that works out for my benefit. Although I did drag around the trailer, probably didn't need the trailer. But there is a lot of scrap, like an old bigger vacuum and some workout stuff that's all metal that I'll end up going through. But really, this load was a really good load to get for how much it was quoted for. Um, but there's just not much there. So it'll be, it was a nice simple load. The biggest part will be the driving. And I don't like Madison drivers. They, I don't know. I've had, I had like at least 20 cars that were inches away from the trailer just driving and, and I hate when people do that. I don't know how they do that because like, man, they have a lot of faith in the person with the trailer or they're just really in a rush and don't care. But I can't be behind someone with the trailer that close just because it just seems crazy. But anyways, it was a good thing, uh, good load, good job, nice people. We will get home, sort through the metal and the junk, and we'll probably be making a dump run today, so we'll get a video of doing that. I think we're just gonna try and take the truck out today, no trailer out to the dump, because I think we have enough stuff, a couple things sitting around at home, and then this, that I can just fit in the pickup bed, making a simpler load to the dump and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, it was a pretty nice day. Got out and get this done before the heat comes in, because it is hot here. Yesterday was horrible. Yeah, we'll get, keep you updated and yeah. Out here to drop some stuff up off the dump. Uh, it's just a combination of the last job from Middleton and then the little things from the previous job that we had. Uh, small dump fee, because we were able to cram it all in the truck. We'll get out here, unload this, and then be on with the day. Gonna be going back to the day job for a couple days, so there won't be much content as far as hauling goes, but we do have a couple jobs coming up. And obviously we'll keep posting the channel and stuff, so that'll be cool. And hopefully by then we'll be over this little cold we got going on. So, we hauled junk, and I guess today we took out carpet. One big room here with an up little area, closets, hallway, and then there was two rooms down there that were probably the size of the lower of this room. So we did that, me and my wife. It was fun, she will tell you otherwise, um, but, yeah, it was pretty good. Wasn't horrible. These carpets have just been in this th house for 30 years and they were pretty well taken care of, so it wasn't horrible. But we did it. To the dump to drop off our trailer full of carpet. Pretty nice day. Gotta get all the stuff done before the heat comes in. Also gotta get the trailer empty because tomorrow, the same people that we ripped the carpet out of she gets to go help take a load of their stuff to their new house because they are behind on the moving process. So she's going to do a solo job because I'm going to go work the night job and I will be very tired tomorrow. So she gets to have the fun. Well, today it happened. 
instead of buying all-terrain tires for these tires so we don't slip around at the dump I mean rims we're gonna keep these for nice summery days and stuff but we are gonna put these GMC elevation rims on they have all trains pretty much the same size tire just a 60 instead of 55 so a little bit taller but nice tread be all trains that way on the wet days and then in the winter we'll be prepared so we'll probably rotate through them these are nice black rims and everything I don't have a problem with them saying GMC but I do actually really like the chrome on the truck when it shines up but these will probably shine up pretty nice so I might look into like getting a center cap switched out for here so it says Chevy but otherwise you know minimal curb rash and stuff and being what our job is I'm not too concerned about having pretty fancy rims and then being sad when they get damaged like the truck is gotten a couple spots where it's like oh crap but I got a paint guy who's gonna look at some of that stuff when the time's appropriate but yeah it's wanted to get the good news out there that we got these all trains so we won't slip around and we'll be prepared for when the winter comes and it's nice that they have a nice tread and stuff that we won't have to worry about tires for probably a couple years or more so this is good for the business to have the two options available so more than prepared here are the tires put on the truck wheels and tires or whatever you want to call them um, they still got the GMC sorry caps I ordered actually Chevy ones and the middle emblem will be silver or chrome and black and then I got new lug nuts coming um, the ones at AutoZone were too short I really like this blacked out look and the way it looks so not only will it be nice with the all-terrain tires it actually looks really good with the black so we can kind of change it up from time to time but yeah oops now the sun's there so i'll have to go to the other side but yeah it looks really nice i think as far as these i think they're yeah evolution rims off of gmc and they look nice Altering tires would be cool. And we got her loaded up. They're gonna they requested some totes. We don't really care about what we got from another job to move some stuff. The nice red dolly. She'll help them move today while I take a nap from the day job or night job, I guess you could call it right now. But yeah, should be a good day. Rims and tires look good. We'll get an update later once she's done with her day of duties so we're off to job number 20 already I can't believe how fast they've kind of come this one should be more of a laid-back one it's just uh, simply taking some guy's gun safe and moving it to the basement for him he's an older guy who bought it and has no way of moving it to the basement so it should be an easier job um, since my wife is here maybe she'll have some comments about her day-long moving thing that she did and busted butt doing if that was a fun experience or not is this an interview I don't know if you have any comments about it <clears throat> it was a successful experience I was able to help a family move from one city to the next for their retirement and I don't know it's just nice to be part of their family for a moment and get them where they needed to be because they couldn't you know, get it done on their own without some help. So, you know, it was nice. And it was as a, a place. token of, you know, obviously the, the job, was, there was a bid and money and stuff, but they gave some household items that have been sitting around in their house, and the kids are enjoying the fact that they gave some really old water guns. Like, Vintage. Nowadays, you can get water guns, and they last if you take care of them and stuff, but these are water guns that my kids could probably throw around, and they will last, so that is really cool. We can donate what we need and, to. Yeah, so. Give other people things that they might not have needed. So it was a good experience, and we're excited for everything we've been through, and we are glad to say that we're on to job 20 because it hasn't even been a month yet. So this is kind of exciting that it's been what it is, but we're going to go do this job. Might have a little update after that, 
but otherwise have a good day so we just moved the guy's gun safe to his basement really nice guy he had the gun safe what oh yeah he had the gun safe outside the door ready to go inside like it just gotten dropped off so he even moved it out of his basement which he was a guy who had back surges and stuff so he probably shouldn't have moved it but he did so that was nice um but yeah, it was open his front door, stairs are right there, AC house, so like didn't even break a sweat, took it down there, nice finished basement, you know, everything was straightforward. So we're talking with the guy, and because he lived so close to our house, and he was on the way, we charged 40 bucks. The reason being, obviously like I said, he's close to our house, we were going to be on our way to Walmart anyways, so it was zero inconvenience for us to go up and do this. He goes, you guys could charge a little bit more because I called one other guy who said that he would come in and do it for 240. Now, I get that this isn't our day job and I get that we probably should charge a little bit more, but like I said, this wasn't a, we were already on the way to someplace, so that's part of the reason for the pricing. Um, but it's kind of crazy as we go through this, like, when people ask your rates and stuff, you know, and we've kind of gotten pretty good at like the junk rates because like we know what's going on as far as picking it up and getting rid of it. But like with jobs like this where you help people move stuff or move in general or anything like that, it's hard to figure out a rate because I don't know, for me that seemed like a very simple task. I didn't break my, break a sweat. I was in another guy's house in under 10 minutes. And like at my day job, I make <clears throat> pretty good money per hour. So I guess I base a lot of this on that. So for me, it's hard to charge so much for an hourly rate, but it's just a crazy experience. Um, obviously, as time goes on, we'll adjust our rates accordingly to, you know, not be not making a bunch of money. But still, for me, I can, there's no way to. I no. really think rate and like what the charge is has to do with like how much actual physical work is going into the job and time because if you're working at your you know max for three or four hours that's going to be a little bit more expensive because like obviously the level of strength and you know i guess what would it be Effort. endurance and effort and stuff yeah. like if it's going to really drain you and take away from the rest of your week it's going to cost more but like this was so simple and it was just to help this person move it from you know 30 feet like down some yeah. stairs and then around the corner and people want to charge so much money for something so little it didn't take effort it didn't take anything away from us to do it that made us have to be like yeah we need more than this much money like, i just think it's ridiculous that somebody would even charge 200 and, like and I get that, like, for us, this is our side hustle, as you would call it, I guess. But still, even if that was your day job to haul junk, that just seems kind of crazy to move a gun safe down an air-conditioned, really nice house set of stairs for 240 I'm not a mover. Um, really kind of just started this to haul junk, so obviously we're learning as time goes. But it's still just, it seems kind of crazy. But, you know, that it does open the window for us beneficial wise to know where we sit morally and then where other people are sitting on their prices so maybe you know to benefit us down the road we can always up our rates and maybe stuff we're just too nice. so it is cool but yeah and that's the thing we don't want to be too nice to where we're screwing ourselves but also i don't know the one thing i've enjoyed out of this job is not only that the family gets to hang out like the kids are back there just chilling and stuff but uh you meet some pretty cool people and you meet some interesting people but either way it's There's just kind of cool on the side of the road over there. but uh yeah so sorry it, it was a <laughs> good job she might have found another dolly so we're heading over there but it was a good job uh really like doing this on the side it's just kind of fun you know because like this weekend this is the only job we have so we get to chill which has been which is good because we've had every weekend be busy up until this point so you know it's really nice to finally get a weekend to chill but like i said if someone calls about a job i know i'll probably just take it oh. <laughs> so yeah have a good one and hopefully you enjoy the video